Welcome back to Math with Jen. In this video, we are going to be looking at whole numbers through one billion and decimals to the hundreds using expanded notation and numerals. So in grade three, you learned about the tens, the tens, the hundreds, the thousands, ten thousands, and hundred thousands. For grade four, you are now going to expand your place value knowledge to one million, ten millions, hundred millions, and one billion. We're also going to be making your way to the right of a decimal. The decimal has always been there. We just usually don't write it unless we have part of a whole to talk about. I do have a separate video talking about the tenths and the hundredths that you can check out for more information on these. What it's really doing is it's taking part of a whole like we did with fractions. We are now going to look at our new place values of tenths and hundredths written in expanded notation. We already know that the five is representing five tens, so this would be five times 10. The six we know is six ones, so that would be six times one. Now when we get to the four, again, that's the tenths place. So we're gonna do plus four times tenths, one tenth. We are going to do one over ten, one tenth. And this would be one times one over one hundred. Again, the five is for our tens place, so that's five times ten, because that's in the tens place. Six, six is in the ones place, so six times one, because I have six of those ones. Four is in the tenths place, so I have four tenths, so four times one tenth. And then over here I have 100, so one time 100. So expanded notation is taking each of those place values and showing what they represent. Four times 0 0.1. This is another way to write 1 tenth. And then you could also write this one as one times 0 0.01, which is 100. So you could write it in two ways. In expanded notation, you could either write it using fractions or you can write it using decimals. Whole numbers are going to be the same in both situations. When you get to the decimal place values as fractions or decimals, we have 900 million. So that would be 9 times 100 million. Then we have this is in the 10 million, so it would be 1 times 10 million. We would have 4 million, so 4 times 1 million. Let's see if I can squeeze it in here. And we would have the 6 is in the 100 thousands, so 6 times 100 thousand. And I have eight in the ten thousands, so eight times ten thousand. Then I have the five in the thousands. And then we have nine in the hundreds, so plus nine times one hundred. Then we have no tens, so I could either put zero times ten or I can just skip it all together. I'm going to write zero times ten. Just because I want you to see it, but you don't need to write that, and it probably wouldn't be written for you. And then there's six ones, so six times one. And then now we have our eight tenths, so eight times one tenth. And then we have three hundredths, so three times one over a hundred. And that is 914 million, 685 thousand. 906 and 83 hundreds written as expanded notation. I thank you so much for joining me in this video and I hope that you learned something new and I will see you next time. Bye.